All right, you guys, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to successfully land the brand new DLC 15 Ultimate Attack Core Breaker. As y'all know, it's pretty difficult to connect, but when you do connect it, it does mad damage. You can't just randomly use it. Well, you can, you just have to be at the perfect angle. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to use it three different ways. The first way, while playing as the original character, Gamma 2. The second way, as a male Saiyan and the third way as any CAC character. I do include a super attack just because I don't play as any other CACs, only my male Saiyan, so I don't know their unique combo strings, but I'm sure if you take them into training mode, try to figure out how to connect it with Core Breaker, you'll get it to work. Once again, I don't play as them, so I'm just integrating a super attack <laughs> into uh, the third method to make it universal. So, starting things off with Gamma 2 over here. All you have to do is do a stamina break and then do the uppercut combo string. Now, there's many different ways to perform the uppercut combo string. Uh, the first way is just use the lights combo until he does it right there. It'll be the ninth hit. Another way, very simple, is just use the heavy into lights. Just like that, a five hit combo. Uh, you can prolong that version with four heavies into light. He does this snap vanish right here into the uppercut. I actually inputted another input, which is fine, but you guys got the idea. Um, yeah, that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and test it out. Just go ahead and perform the stamina break. Oh, and if you don't know how to use a stamina break just yet, uh, once again, very simple. Just use three heavies into the stamina break. Or if you want some style points, Go ahead and use the back hit into three lights into this downer break. <laughs> Easy, right? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, perform the actual combo string. Here it is. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Into the uppercut, we're just gonna go ahead and use all lights first. And there it is. It landed first try. Easy. <laughs> Easy, man. <laughs> Stamina break. All lights into the uppercut. And then combo breaker. There is one condition, though. You have to be on the ground. Let's actually test it up in the air, see if this works. Hopefully, it does work in the air. I haven't tested this out. Oh, it does. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> now, obviously, it'll also depend on how much stamina your opponent has. Um, if you want to do the quick version, then you can. All you have to do is do a heavy and two lights. His stamina is recovering really fast because I stamina broke him when he had max stamina. Uh, if your opponent has... A whole bunch of stamina, you know, 10 stamina bars. Uh, wait, let me go ahead and set him to normal and snap vanish. We're just gonna go ahead and do it the normal way, right? Uh, let's go ahead and deplete his stamina bars real quick. And we can do the prolonged version. So, four heavies into light. So yeah, that's how you land it while playing as Gamma 2. Now, I'm going to show you how to use it while playing as a male Saiyan. So just go ahead and deplete your opponent's stamina. Once again, this only works on the ground, I think. And just do this combo string right here. It lands. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Uh, let's actually test it up in the air. Um, right here should be good. Oh, we actually missed it right there. Okay, so yeah, it only does work on the ground. I do have to mention that you can't just quickly use it. So uh, let me show you guys what I mean. If you just use the ultimate straight after the combo, it won't land. See? 
so what you have to do is wait a little bit after you do the final kick right here so after you do the final kick uh let your cac recover and then do the ultimate attack that's how you land it this way so you do have to wait a little bit time it with perfection uh so it might be a bit difficult but it is what it is that's how you always land core break while playing as a male saiyan as for the third method while playing as any cac i like to call this the universal core breaker ultimate you do need the super attack ray blast for this to work uh pretty straightforward just down to break your opponent use ray blast into core break look at this look at that easy right once again you do need to be on the ground I think this works uh, like uh, just hovering above the ground like right here. Let's go ahead and test it real quick. Oh, it would have worked, but his stamina recovered way too fast. So let me actually do it the normal way. If you deplete all his stamina first, then do the stamina break, his stamina will take a lot longer to recover, right? Oh, let me set his stamina to normal real quick. All right, here it is. Hopefully it works from this high up from the ground. Yeah, it does. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. This is probably the easiest one to do uh, with Ray Blast just because um, you don't need to focus on doing a certain combo string. You can just use... A stamina break, ray blast, into core break, right? How easy is that? And you'll always land it. Once again, that would have landed right there, but his stamina recovered. It, it, it has to depend on how much stamina your opponent has, right? Because the animation does take forever to charge. Yep. No problem at all. We weren't even on the ground when I did that one as well. We do actually have a fourth way as well, but I don't think this is the most optimal use for Core Breaker. You do have to utilize another ultimate attack and it's a super spur bomb. <laughs> now you do have to be on the ground once again, and you have to perform the heavy stamina break. So let's go ahead and test this out. See if it works for the one time. After you use that, just use super spirit bomb and then uh, it should land if he's not recovered by then. Oh, 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 hold up. Yeah, so he does recover from the heavy stamina break, but his stamina will be gone. So he can't, you know, fly away, use an evasive. You know, by the time he recovers, the super spirit bomb will be fully charged. And it'll probably hit Goku. I mean, the spirit bomb covers a wide range, so I think you'll be good. He'll obviously try to run away, but you'll still catch him. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Alright! Technical difficulties. Um, obviously, Super Spirit Bomb takes three key bars and Core Break takes five. So you do need a total of eight key bars for this to work. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to unlimited. Alright, let's try this once more. Oh, and by the way, comment down below your unique way of landing a Core Break. I would like to know. These are just four easy methods. So after you land Super Spirit Bomb, just use core break and it should connect check this out so it landed right there and oh he literally catches goku in the spirit bomb doing mad damage what is that like three health bars two health bars with no power-ups no transformations no nothing <laughs> this is absolutely crazy i do want to make a video uh doing this method in a pvp match i think it'll be extremely cool oh i do need to change my attributes though to get eight key bars i'm not gonna pause it this time just because i do want to see the cinematic yeah look at that see he catches goku in the spirit bomb doing mad damage extremely op i'm sure this can one shot your opponent if you add the extra abilities you know the power increases ultimate whatever yeah so those are the four different methods to land core break. All extremely easy to do. Uh, there are some conditions though. You know, be on the ground, do certain combo strings. Yeah. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.